Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the secret equipment in Halo Reach, hidden in the game files, and sometimes in plain sight, that you normally can't use. So, in Halo Reach, as we all know, Halo Reach really expanded upon equipment a lot. Uh, instead of like, you know, throwable equipment like in Halo 3, they, they added armor abilities. But in addition to armor abilities, there's still a lot of traditional pieces of equipment in Halo Reach. What counts as equipment as far as the game is, is concerned is, you know, armor abilities, uh, things you pick up, like grenades and stuff like that. So, let's get right into it and see what's in a game that you normally can't use. So, we're starting off with Evade. Now, you may be thinking, you can use Evade in Halo Reach. Well, that is kind of true, but not in Campaign. Uh, in Campaign, Evade is actually the only armor ability that... You can use a multiplayer, but it's not available to you at any point in campaign. So normally in Halo Reach, if you bring up the scoreboard, whether it's a campaign or multiplayer, it'll show you like your um, what weapon you're holding and what equipment you have. Right now I have nothing, so that's what it shows. But right now, we are in campaign, uh, and once I equip it, you can see it is just a normal uh, evade uh, armor ability. There's actually no like special um, campaign variant. That is the same as the multiplayer variant. But just having it in campaign, when you bring up this scoreboard, it has a little easter egg message, which I've actually shown in a previous video before, but um, once you show, it shows uh, evade, wait, how'd you get this in campaign? Uh, basically meaning like you're never supposed to have it, so the only way you could have it is probably, you probably modded it or something. All right, so next up we have the health pack here. Again, you may be thinking that there's health pack everywhere, even in campaign. Well, you're technically correct, but this health pack is different. This one is actually never used in in anywhere. So, in Halo Reach, the actual health pack that you're used to using, it's actually not a equipment. It's a it's just a it's, it's a device control tag, meaning it's pretty much like a, almost like a button that you're activating, and when you activate it, it heals you. But there was a piece there was a health pack variant that was just an equipment that you pick up and activate. And the way it works is that once your health is down, you activate it, and you can see it even has the armor lock icon, and it puts me into third person to activate it. And once I hold it, after like a couple seconds, then it heals me fully. So it's almost like a healing ability. Like in some games, it's like, you know, hold X to heal, and it takes you a couple seconds to fully heal. That might have been like some planned healing mechanic in Halo Reach. I'm not sure, but... It's never used. Uh, this next one is the Hunter Roadblock. It has no model, which is why it's invisible. But you can see it says like hold E to swap for um, for armor lock. Uh, there's no armor lock icon this time in the bottom left corner. But when I activate it, it does put me to third person. And my shields, uh, my shield bar turns white, which is kind of like what happens when you go into armor lock. Uh, but it, this is different. It is not really armor lock. So, let's test on this Warthog here. So, normally, you know, you can't really push a Warthog much as a Spartan just by walking into it. But when I activate the armor ability and I walk into the Warthog, suddenly I can pretty much push aside anything in my way. And that is what the armor ability is. It, uh, it's, it's, it gives hunters the ability, it's only used by hunters as the name would imply. It gives them the ability to like, push aside anything in their way. Uh, and it's actually, it may look familiar to you, because if you guys ever use the infinite armor lock glitch on Halo Reach, where it lets you walk around with armor lock, you, you have the same ability where you can like, push things aside. Uh, and that's pretty much what it is. It's getting that like pushing ability from armor lock, minus the actual like <laughs> invincibility factor. Alright, and the last piece of equipment that we have here is the ammo box. Now, you've probably seen this in campaign before, in firefight and stuff like that, and you're right. But uh, throughout the campaign and uh, multiplayer and stuff like that, most ammo, ammo boxes are usually either scenery or crates. Uh, but this one, this one in particular, is a piece of equipment. And picking it up is disabled for the player usually, so th that's why you would never think much about it. You know, you would never think like you actually pick it up. You, you probably think it's just a box, like a crate in a game, like any other crates. But this one is different. This one, for some reason, is actually a piece of equipment that, with a small change in the game files, I can actually make it, you know, I can make it, like, able to pick it up. And 
when you pick it up, you actually do hold it, as you saw there. Uh, but that that's that's about it. Like picking it up actually doesn't do anything other than just hold it. I can't activate that equipment or anything. It's not really meant to be picked up, but it is for some reason a piece of equipment that's in plain sight and it says disabled from being picked up uh, but anyways those are all the pieces of equipment and uh, if you're wondering none of them except for evade have some kind of description on the scoreboard so only evade will have the little easter egg message that you saw at the beginning uh, but yeah, so there you guys have it. Those are all the pieces of equipment hidden in the game files or sometimes in plain sight that you maybe even didn't even know they were equipment, uh, but you most certainly could never uh, normally use before in any game mode in Reach, well, except for the Evade. But uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to I found it to be interesting, and if you did, make sure to leave a like, leave a thousand comments, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!